Hey cousins, welcome back to Meaningful Moments with Jazz. Stay tuned for a love letter to black men. I hope you enjoy it. Love you much. Hey cousins, welcome back to Meaningful Moments with the Jazz. I'm Jazz. Hey, cousins, if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so. Click that button and the bell so you'll be notified when we're having family meetings and discourse so we can talk to one another because that's what family do, right? We have open lines of communication. So go ahead and click that bell. Today I have a message for black men. I just want to talk to you for a moment. So black man. I know that throughout history, you have been beaten and bruised. You have been dehumanized. You were told that you are not a man, but you are chattel. You have been told that you are only good to procreate. You have been told and fed the lies that you are not stable and that you should not have one woman and that you should populate and procreate with as many women as possible. Black man, that's a lie. Black man, you are kings. You are princes. Black man, you have the ideas and the mindset of inventors. You are scientists and mathematicians and you are literary geniuses you are orators you are preachers you are priests you are gladiators throughout all time you are protectors and providers you are amazing beings you have a rare quality that no other human on this earth has your skin ugh. It is so beautiful with its deep hues of melanin and browns and undertones of honey and red. Oh my goodness. With your broad noses and your thick lips, your high cheekbones, your dimpled faces. Y'all all right with me with your dark features. Some of you kings, you wear your hair dreaded and locked. Some of you wear your hair short. However you wear it, you are beautiful. You are majestic beings. And I honor you. Black men, I want you to know that you don't have to live under the previous ideologies and images that have been set for you. You are not criminals. You are not thugs. You are not inherently criminal and bad because of the color of your skin or because of the clothes that you wear on your back or because of the experiences that you had. You are human. You are strong and you are frail. And in your frail moments, know that you can find safety in the arms of black women. Know that we love you, that we honor you, that you are provider, prophet, and priest that you are prolifically profound okay I came from a black man who is brilliant who is kind who is flawed but who is prophet and priest he is loving and sensitive and he is strong all in the same beautiful melanated brown red skin that he got I'm married honey a fine black man who has a strength and a heart of a gladiator who has the mind of a genius who has the philosophical abilities of uh, Socrates and Aristotle I honor and submit to a beautiful black man who loves God who loves me to the very core of my being, he loves my flaws and all, and I love him. He covers me in love and in honor. He nourishes and cherishes my soul. So I respect and I honor him and I protect him. Not as if I'm a protector, but as a woman protects her man by honoring him, by submitting to his godly counsel. I love him and I love you, black man. 
And I wish nothing but the best for you. From the heart of a black woman to a black man, I love you. Until we meet next time. God bless you, my black king. Thank you all for watching Meaningful Moments with Jazz. Remember, if you want to submit questions or topics or comments that you don't want to post on the public forum, please do so to the email address listed on the screen. I love you all so much. God bless you. Until next time.